this is Stampy, and welcome to part number nine of my Doki Doki Universe Let's Play. Oh no, I didn't wave. I got a wave at the beginning. Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> hello, my balloon said hello. The balloon friend would like to welcome you all to this Doki Doki Universe Let's Play video. Let's have some fun then, people, then, shall we? Let's have some fun. Um, what should we do? What should we do? Well, we're at home now. We're on the home planet. Um, let's leave. Let's go on my, my massive hot chocolate. Uh, even though I am pretending it's a cup of tea. And let's uh, go and head off to the universe. Uh, what do you reckon we should do then? Should we go do a quiz? Should we visit a new planet? Should we do a quiz then visit a new planet? That sounds about good. Why don't we have a... Let's have a, a new planet sandwich. Let's do a quiz at the beginning of the video. And at the end of the video. And then we can visit a new planet in the middle. Which will be like this video sandwich filling. <laughs> Does that sound fun? <laughs> let's do that. Or let's go find a, an asteroid I haven't visited before then. And let's do, um, let's answer a few questions. And then we'll have a little break and we'll go and visit a planet afterwards. And yeah, that should be, a uh, yeah, should be good fun. Anyway, uh, which kind of genius would you prefer to have? Like, not be, have. One that makes a robot or one that makes, um, drums that play themselves. I guess that's, like, the artistic choice and that's the science -y choice. But to be fair... I think I'd rather have that. If I had a choice of a drum kit that kept banging and keeping me up all night, or a big awesome looking robot thing, which I could scare away my neighbours if they're annoying me, I think I'd go for that one. Uh, if you were the boy, and the girl said, I'm going to win this contest, what would you do? Well, <laughs> it looks like she is going to win. Uh, would you say, I don't think so. Uh, would you say, your castle is awesome, or smile and uh, keep working? I think I'd, I think I'd, I'd either say that it's awesome or smile and keep working. I think I'd smile and keep working because I, I would have a secret plan. Mine would look rubbish, but underneath that, there'd be a, like a, a whole cave system. It'd be like an ant's nest that it would be like little tunnels going all the way through. And so from the top, it looks rubbish, but inside it would be amazing. So I'd have a, a little smirk on my face and just keep working away. And she would have no idea how good my castle really was. <laughs> uh, on your lunch break, uh, you see a street person digging in a trash can. What do you do? Um, go offer him uh, your apple and chips. Apple and, who's apple and chips? Uh, keep eating, but feel bad. Uh, pay no attention and look away. You, you'd have to give it to him. You, you, you couldn't just ignore that. You can't just turn the other cheek. Uh, do intelligent aliens visit the earth? Uh, how should I know? Uh, I bet they do. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, or no way. Um, I doubt it. I doubt it, to be honest. I think I think if an intelligent alien came down, I think it, it would say hello. I think it would be very rude of an intelligent alien to come down and not just say hello to us. Uh, which vacation looks better to you? Uh, basically, Jurassic Park or <laughs> getting fat and uh, sleeping on an island? <laughs> um, excitement is all fun and all that, but sleeping on an island, that looks pretty good. <laughs> this is what's been revealed about you. Well, I'm a scientist. I told you. I told you it'd be like science or like artistic. Uh, you think like a scientist. You naturally apply the scientific method to understanding your world. Uh, you're a builder. You have a natural sense for building. You are a maker and a constructor. Uh, I'm a realist. Uh, you're practical and grounded in the material and physical real world. And I am sensitive. You're naturally empathetic and understanding of the feelings of others. Big round of applause for me. And let's return to space. <laughs> and uh, what should I take with me? A gravestone, some weights, or some pretty flowers. Let's have some flowers I can decorate with. And uh, where are we going to go then? There was one that I said about in the um, the last video. Yuckers. I think it was Yuckers I, I contemplated going to. So let's go. Let's go visit Yuckers. It looks rather disgusting, but oh well. That's what we're here to do. We're here to we're here to sort out this planet and uh, help out anyone who's in need uh, while proving my humanity on the way. So let's just go down and land. Good old alien Jeff has come to say hello. Hi, welcome to. I can't even say the name of this place without feeling sick. Honestly, I don't know why you came here. Well, good luck doing whatever it is you're doing. Are you not even going to tell me? Normally, when I get to a new place, he um he uh, tells me what I'm trying to prove. Oh, this is a big poo house. <laughs> There's someone living inside of a big poo. <laughs> yeah, normally when I get to a new planet, uh, he tells me what I'm doing here. I'm normally trying to prove some element of my humanity. And uh, yeah, he normally lets me know, but uh, I guess i got to... I gotta work this one out myself. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go just from one side of the planet to the other. Uh, luckily, the planets are generally pretty small. And I'm just gonna look behind everything to see if there's any presents. Uh, because it normally gives me a bunch of materials and uh, like stickers and stuff which I can use. And uh, it normally helps me out in the missions. Uh, a lot of the times, um, 
uh, the, like the the things that people need help with. I need to give them things. So uh, it's a good idea just to go around and get them all and just uh, make sure I don't miss anything. There's a lot of people in the way though. Can I get that little fish? Nope, I'll leave that one for now. I might get that one later. Here we go. There's a present sitting down here. Okay, I'm getting lots of weird things like people feeling sick. There's a a tree with old socks hanging from it. And there we go. I think we've gone in a in a complete circle. Anyway, this boy seems okay. Ah, lovely. Let's uh, go and say, uh, say hello to him. Hello, robot. My name is Tomagun. I travelled the galaxy looking for the most wonderful stinky smells. And I found the best of the best. It's Eric's poo house. Yeah, <laughs> <Ugh>, man. <laughs> Can you not smell it? It is wonderfully disgusting. Sorry, I can't smell. I am a robot. <gasps> what? You poor creature. What, you re you're wretch what a wretched existence you must lead. I wish to teach you about stinkiness. Find me something stinky and bring it here. <laughs> okay, he's going to teach me about the wonders of stinkiness. Is that the is that the part of humanity that I'm trying to learn here? Like the, the, the stinkiness side. Look at the background. Look at that big nose rock with all the horrible snot water coming out. Uh, uh, I can't wait to leave this part. Look at the, the moon in the background with the guns just like hanging off it. Anyway, hopefully I've, I've picked up something uh, disgusting. So uh, let's see if I can uh, give anything to him. Uh, what, looks, what do you think looks stinky and disgusting? Can you see anything? There's a baby with a bit of a, a messy looking diaper, I think. Um, some soup, a toilet, a big poo. <laughs> uh, let's go for the... What's that? Oh, it's a poo farting. As if a poo wasn't bad enough. It is a poo farting. How disgusting. Anyway, let's give it to him. Splash. Yes, yes. Do you understand? You've selected the finest of stinky smells. Oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> oh dear. I, I guess stinky is a is a, a well thought of commodity in on this planet. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Let's go and see if anyone else needs some help. I'm getting loads of emails as well. I got I got four uh, letters that have been sent to me. Uh, I, I guess everyone's talking about smell on this planet. Hi there. Hi there. My name is Poopers. I am the coolest poop around. <laughs> the the only thing that could make me cooler is if I had a really gross pet. Do you think you could get me one? Sure. I think I think I need to give him a poo as well. Oh god, I didn't mean to pick him up. Go, let's fling my poo, shall we? Oh, he does not. He does not like that at all. <laughs> right. What can I get him as a pet then? Would it have to be like a stinky pet. I could give him a poo as well. Or oh, what are these little people? This one's got smelly armpits and that one's, yeah, flatulating. Let's go give him this little guy with some smelly armpits. Let's see if he likes him. Oh, he's massive. Smell this. Whoa, you are one stinky pet. <laughs> I don't look too impressed. I look rather angry, to be honest. Folks, I'll try. <laughs> oh, they're in love. They're actually happy with it. <laughs> oh, dear. This game is so ridiculous. Oh, okay, what's going on? Oh, I leveled up. I got a new avatar. I can be like a little plant pot. I got a new decoration, a big poo house, and a new steed. I can fly around on a piece of poo. <gasps> My dream come true. <laughs> who else need, Who else needs some some disgusting help? <laughs> God, I never want to visit this yucca's place again. Oh, this guy looks okay. He looks relatively clean. This guy looks quite happy to see me as well. And he loves this fellow. Look, he's doing a little dance. <laughs> look at him go. Look at him do this little jig. <laughs> How do I dance? Can I dance? And what am I doing here? I can, I can blow a kiss. Oh, he doesn't like blowing kisses. I, I don't think I can dance until they tell me to. I can bow. Uh, anyway, let, let, let's go speak to him. Hi, I'm Pop. You want to know why our planet is so great? Sure. Why? Our planet used to be a garbage dump for other planets. Guess the other planets have a lot of garbage. The garbage just kept coming and coming. It can be pretty depressing around here. You never know, you, you know what would cheer me up? Seeing a boxing match. Okay, I will see what I can find. I need to find a boxing match? Do I, do I have a bo boxing match? Do I haven't have one in my back pocket? Have you seen a, bo a boxing match? Oh, here we go, look. I got two, I got two little boxers. That would sure cheer him up. <laughs> Take that and that. Wow, thanks. Seeing people hit each other really does make me feel better. <laughs> how do they? How do they come up with these missions? How do they? There's a group of people 
sitting around at a table at Human Nature Studios coming up with ideas for these quests and they had to think this up. <laughs> I want to meet these people. They sound like my kind of people. Anyway, what's wrong with this guy? Why the long face? Do you get it? <laughs> Hi, off Wilder. Hi there. Is there anything I can do for you? The sky is full of flying saucers, but they never stop here. It's a shame aliens are so cool. Can you make a space alien? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just see if I happen to have a space alien. You see why I, I went around and got all of the other uh, presents before speaking to anyone? What do you reckon a space alien is then? Any of these? Um, that guy's kind of space alien-y. That's like a kind of more ghosty. I got the sun. Um, there's no stereotypical alien. Let's give him this guy and let's, let's see if this is going to count. Let's see if he counts this. Boot. <laughs> oh, he likes it. I think he likes it. That's so amazing. Totally out of this world. You're the best. Yay. I'm making so many people happy today. And the good thing about making other people happy is it makes you happy as well. Like, honestly, if you go around and help other people out, it makes you feel good as well. It's just nice making other people happy. So, there you go. That, that, that's everyone's challenge for today. Go do a random act of kindness and you'll feel good too. I mean, that shouldn't be the reason you do it, but <laughs> it can sometimes help out. Well, it seems that I don't have any more missions yet. Uh, one goal not yet discovered. How am I gonna, how am I gonna discover the final goal? Maybe I need to make some people like me a little bit more? What does this guy got? This guy likes bowing and he does have a present for me. If I bow to him a few times, there's a chance he might go and uh, give me the present. I think if you bow too much though, then they just get a little bit weirded out. Right, I think one more bow should do. Is he gonna like me? Getting some more grubs. He's like, uh, hi again. <laughs> Anything else about him that I know? I don't know what he likes at all. I could try and get lucky and just give him something. Oh, he has a, he, does he have a present for me? I saw the thing above his head. There we go, he's gonna give me a present. Uh, I have something for you, I hope you like it. Oh, he got me some garbage. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's go speak to this poo then. What does what does this poo like? Uh, he likes waving and he's quite close to a present as well. Let's uh, wave to this guy a few times and uh, see if he's gonna give me a present. Give him another little wave. Hello again. <laughs> One more before it starts feeling a little bit too awkward. There we go, he still likes me. Is that, is that enough to get a present off him? Uh, it's not, and I still don't know anything else that he likes. So I guess I'll I'll come back to him a, a little bit later on. I don't know how else I'm supposed to to find out about this final mission. Have I spoke to this guy yet? I can't remember if I have. Uh, I don't. This guy doesn't like me like at all yet. Uh, well, he does a bit, but like not as close to the others. Let's wave to him a few times, and uh, then let's say hello to him and uh, see what he's um got to say to me. Hi there, could you help me out with something? There we go. This is the last mission. Sure thing. What's up? I was dumped on this garbage heap of a planet years ago and I don't know what I am tell me what am I <laughs> a potato a moldy apple or a meatball he doesn't look <laughs> um he's a meatball let's call him a meatball uh, I am this I love mystery apparently <laughs> you are a meatball a meatball really oh I'm so happy now I know what I am <laughs> really Someone coming up to you and calling you a meatball? That makes them pleased. <laughs> what kind of crazy logic is this? Um, he's still not ready to give me a present though. And it still says I've got one more goal yet to be discovered. Let's try speaking to him again. Now that I'm a meatball, I have all kinds of important things to think about. Like what? Well, for instance, I was left here a very long time ago. I might be some kind of collector's item by now. I might be worth millions. <laughs> possibly, very possibly. Let's give him another little wave and see if it's gonna gonna make him wanna give me a present. Nope, he still doesn't wanna give me a present. Right, let's go speak to this guy again and see if this guy needs any help. Uh, I am so content here. Everything is so disgusting. Oh, he likes disgusting things. Right, if I give him something disgusting, that might be uh, enough for him to, to give me a, a new present, maybe. What do I have that's disgusting? Uh, there's this guy doing a... Oh, this guy's doing a rather horrible... Uh, uh, that is definitely disgusting. Let's give him that. And uh, let's see if he enjoys it. Blah. Oh, that's nice and gross. Huh? Come back! He's chasing after him. <laughs> Come back, my puking man. <laughs> is that going to be enough for him to give me a present? Does he like me enough now? Uh, boulder seem uh, uncomfortable around machines. Uh, I think it might be because it has some bad memories uh, of being picked up by a garbage truck. 
Oh, it doesn't like machines. Okay. So I need to, to make sure I don't give it any machines. Why isn't it going to give me its last present then? Uh, I'm so happy that you're here. Is that going to be enough? I can maybe try and give it something else disgusting. What What else do I have? I could give it a poo, I guess. I'm kind of losing track as to, to what I've given a poo. I seem to be giving everyone poos on this <laughs> on this <laughs> disgusting yuckers planet. I right, just give him a poo and see if he uh, see if he enjoys that splurge. <laughs> there we go. Now he loves me. He's chasing after that now. Is he still not going to give me any presents? How much? Oh, he's so close. Oh no, he needs to hate me. I'm doing it the wrong way round. He gives me a present when he really dislikes me. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to feel mean. I don't want to be mean to the person. Let's speak to this little boy down here. Hey man, what brings you to Yuckers? We don't get many visitors at this time of year. Actually, to be honest, we never get any visitors at all. What is this place? It used to be the resort planet. But these days, the planet is all covered in muck. What happened? Where did the muck come from? No one really knows. But some scientists believe that our planet is an entryway into the poop dimension. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Oh, there we go. Look, he's got, he's got a mission for me now. This is the this is the final mission. Hey, man, do you have any spare vomit? I'm fresh out. Some what? Vomit, you heard me. That is a little disgusting. Hey, you try living here for 15 years. Love it or leave it. <laughs> I think I do. I got I got that. Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't mean to pick you up. Sorry, did not mean to do that. I got I got that man, don't I? I got that the vomiting man. God, this is uh, this is going to be my most disgusting video ever. I I apologize if anyone happened to be eating their dinner while watching this. <laughs> I shouldn't have visited Yuckers. I guess it's my own fault. There we go. Do you like it? It doesn't get any more disgusting than that. Let's see them try to keep up with me now. There we go. He happy. He loves his vomiting man. And I've completed all goals on this planet. Well done me. I guess I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. Can you listen? That's me giving myself a pat on the back. Ow, I did that a little bit too hard. <laughs> Hi, QT3. Did you learn anything about the humanity here? Yes, I think I did. People have noses. Huh? Well, onward and upward, let's go to the next planet. I don't know what I'm supposed to have learned here. Maybe about, maybe it's a message to do with the fact that this used to be like a beautiful place and then humans came here and we kind of covered it in muck. There may be some sort of hidden message there about humanity, maybe. Uh, that's what that's what I'm gonna, gonna pull from it. Humanity does have a, a great tendency of finding amazing places and amazing things and kind of making them a, a little bit more yucky and messy. Anyway, as I said, this is going to be a um, <laughs> this is going to be a yuckers planet sandwich, and uh, the bread uh, is going to be uh, two of these asteroids. Uh, so yeah, we still got time to do another one of these quizzes. Which house appeals to you more? The shoe. I want to live in a shoe, definitely. No hesitation. Which house appeals to you more? Ooh, the mushrooms or the big robot? I'm going to go for the mushrooms. I like the, the fantasy stuff. Uh, which house appeals to you more? The tree house or like the modern boring house? I'm going to go for the tree house. Once again, much more adventurous. Which house appeals to you more? The spooky volcano house or the futuristic robot house? I'm going to go for that one. What caption would you choose for this t-shirt? Uh, all kinds of bad, love each other, stink of eye. <laughs> I'm going to go for that one because I, that one would make me laugh. That's probably the most likely one I would wear. Uh, you are the most unusual. This is what you are like. Uh, you enjoy wild, silly humour and visual comedy. You are naturally intuitive and seek innovation and newness. And I also like putting ballistic spin on my head. Uh, you like odd, quirky, off-the-wall humour. Uh, you love fantasy, you wish magic was real, and you search for it in life. You are most interesting person to take my test. <laughs> oh, you say that to me every single time. And look, I got a, uh, a bunch of prizes for it as well. Jolly good. But anyway, we have sadly uh, just about run out of time uh, on this video. Uh, so in my next video, uh, I think I might try and do the same. I might have a, another planet sandwich. I might do an asteroid, uh, go visit a planet, and uh, hopefully uh, find a, a brighter, more colourful planet. That's my challenge. I want to find the nicest planet out there in my next video. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to join me, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the next episode, once I've uploaded it, of course, uh, as well as a, uh, a playlist with all of my Doki Doki Universe videos in order for your viewing pleasure. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye!